It is slightly raining today, but that's not going to stop me. I uh, just edited like three videos in a row, trying to get everything caught up. But the Lancer parts are done, and we got to go get them. Also, before I go get them, I want to get the wheels and the brake calipers painted so they have time to dry. And I also want to go to the steel yard to get those steel plates that I didn't get because they were closed the last time I went. But it's not going to stop me today. So we're going to go get them. Yeah. Oh. This is the classic tea. This is the cheapest one you can get. I love it. It's very soft. It's a nice material. And then, I, I'm glad it's a little higher than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be down on the butt. And I'm glad it's up around the middle of the back. I kind of wanted to make it noticeable. But anyways. Go get yourself some merch! First things first, I'm going to put this thing up so my I can work on the wheel standing up. And I'm going to go over every one of these wheels with my Dremel tool and clean up all of the rough edges. I also am going to deflate all the tires so there's no air in them. And I'm going to try to get all the dirt that's in the, like, the bead on the back and stuff. It will also be better for painting them. One of these rims had some sharp edges on it. It was this one. I'm gonna go around and try to clean this edge up as best as I can with a Dremel tool first. Then I gotta go around and paint or uh, sand it with a 320 and then we'll uh, get some paint on it. We'll get the brake calipers ready. I'm gonna unbolt them and get them out where uh, they're away from everything and we'll mask everything off. Paint the, paint the brake calipers. So that that part is done, and uh, after I get everything coated and painted, then we're gonna go get some metal and go out to Jerry's and get the rest of the parts to finish this up. And no, I did not finish getting the adhesive and stuff off, so we're gonna have to do this all in one shot. It's gonna be a long day. Might drag into tomorrow, because I'm not gonna be optimistic and think, I'm gonna get it all done today. I don't think I am. So, hopefully, we'll get it all in this video so you guys can see the finished product. I got this wheel all sanded up. I went around with screwdrivers and pried this the tire back so all the dirt could fall out. A bunch of dirt on the floor came out of this rim. So now I got to wipe this wheel down and uh, get it off the car and set it off to the side. Let me get this thing cleaned up and get it off the car so I can mask it off. I did clean this caliper. As you can see, it's a, it is a little rusty, but I cleaned it the best I can. What I'm gonna do is spray some rust reformer on it and then after that, then I'll start coating it with uh, the paint then. So I'm on the front caliper now got a pretty thick coat on there it's uh done except for i gotta take it off and see if any spots are missed just because of the way i have it laying in there um I had to touch up the other one um this wheel uh, i think i'll probably put one more coat on that wheel but it looks good and then let me show you what that looks like combined
front one having the bigger brake on it looks sick. Sick. Bruh. Got the inner fender in over here. These aftermarket ones, they don't really fit the best, so I might come around with a razor. You can see a little bit right here. And a little bit right here. Maybe. Um, but I'm going to go get this steel that I wanted to get and I've been saying about. Um, so I'm going to take the Kia. I'm not taking the camera with me. It's just going to be a quick trip. It's raining. When I come back, we're going to finish this. And hopefully I'll have enough time to go get the, the painted parts. I don't know. I still have a lot of work to do on this thing. But just think about it. The, the black wheels with the black headlights with the bumper that has the black grill, the blacked grill. This thing's going to look sick when it's done. I'm telling you. All right, so I put one last coat on this wheel. I got the brake caliper hanging up. Man, these things look good. <clears throat> so as you can see um i have time i'm running to jerry's i'm going out there i'm going to get my bumper and all that stuff i'm not going to finish the car tonight i'll tell you that right now guys i just got back from jerry's it's late i want to tell you he delivered that's what she said <laughs> Of course, he always does, so I don't know why I didn't expect. I mean, I did expect it to be good, but it's, he knocked it out of the park, and it looks phenomenal. And this car is going to look so badass compared to what it did look like. I, I'm so, I'm excited. Ooh. All those moments we lost in time. So I brought it in and did the finishing touches on the bumper uh, before I showed you guys and it just man that thing looks sick <laughs> I'm so happy with the way it turned out um, that is the emblem off of the original bumper those grill pieces are off the original bumper the corner pieces and I uh, used etching primer and satin paint on these grills and painted them black so they're not gaudy looking now uh, not too bad I got some uh, shavings because I had to drill some holes for the emblem and I only way to mount those was with zip ties so I had to drill some holes in the bumper which made me uneasy but I mean the finish the finish Fresh new morning. It is not raining outside. It's beautiful. It is a great day to finish off this Lancer. Get up. We gotta go work on the Lancer. I'm just gonna get the most of this off. It, it is really stuck to the paint. So I'm thinking that the new adhesive will maybe bond to it. And it'll also give me a guideline of where the tape is supposed to go. So I'm going to get like get it down like this and then get this thicker stuff off down here. All right, so obviously because these two holes are closer together and that one's further apart, you can see right here these two right there line up with these ones. Now there's a square clip. It goes up into there, and then these just use screws to go up through them. So, 
Let me see if I can get one to fit up and then we'll figure out the front piece and then maybe I'll go ahead and do the other side as well just to get them on there. All right, so my biggest gripe with these side skirts so far, well, besides the pins not being the right size to go in the side of the car, on top of that, these are the mounts they give you for underneath. They work fantastic. Right there is the whole bag of hardware they gave me with it. They only give you enough to do one side with these. They, they, there's not enough in that bag to do the other side. I use three right there. I'm going to use three right here. Um, the way these go, they just pop in. Like you can see, they don't they don't stay in if you go in that way. That's how you take them out. You twist them. You pop them up in. Hold on a second. If I can get this, if I get a hold on it. Put them in this way. And they should snap in like that and then they have room to move now you can see I have this bolted tight and so you can adjust it for the side skirt okay so now I'm gonna put the rest of these in and I'm gonna be out of them but there's one there and there's one here as you can see I might have to, I'm gonna have to hammer that a little bit it this is a side skirt that got damaged and it kind of pulled that mount out. So I'm going to take a hammer and tap that up in real quick and then I'll uh, put this lower mount on. All right, so not only did this kit only have enough anchors for underneath for uh, one side skirt, they also only came with enough push pins for the bottom of that for one side. And a couple of them were just molded crappy. Get on eBay, order yourself one of these cheap kits. You're going to need pins if you're doing stuff like this. Tell you what, that paint matches wonderful. Jerry does all his mixing and stuff himself. Man, that looks good. Yeah. 
So just like that, this gem's for sale. If you haven't kept up with my series, we did a lot to this car. Um, it was light damage, it went off-road, there is a lot of mud and dirt underneath. I had to rebolt the heat shield up, I had to put all new emergency brakes in the back because all that stuff was gone. It was never, it wasn't even in the car. So we did that. Brand new front brakes and rotors, brand new rotors in the back. The pads are like new in the back, so we did not replace those. New headlights, new bumper, the fiberglass bumper. If I could do it again, I would not get a fiberglass bumper. This is the original fender I did. Let me. This is the original fender. I did a little bit of body work over here and back there. There were some scrapes and it looks really good. Uh, this door is another door. The side skirts are new. They're Evo style side skirts, just like the bumper. Um, as you can see, we sanded and painted the wheels with dupe color wheel paint. The calipers are done with dupe color. So you can also see those new rotors in the back. Um, we put a wing on it, wrapped it with carbon fiber. Look at that. It has winter treads the whole way around. Um, the car is an automatic CVT transmission, but this car is all wheel drive, just like an Evo, but it's not turbo. This is a 2.4 liter. Um, it has two wheel, four wheel, and four wheel lock, but the car runs and drives wonderful. Um, only thing left for me to do is get an alignment, which is gonna be done before I sell it. So the Lancer is finished, kind of. Um, I took it to the alignment shop. The alignment's been done. Uh, on the way back, the check engine light came on. Um, the exhaust has sounded raspy uh, ever since I got it. And being that it took the hit underneath that it did, and uh, the cat, I think, took a good hit. And it doesn't have any dents in it, but the shield's all rusted and loose. And uh, the O2 sensor that goes into the cat, it has an O2 sensor in the cat on this. The wires were, were like stripped. They were still together, but they were stripped. So I taped up those wires and got them up and, and together. And when I got the check engine light on, it was a PO420, and that's a catal catalytic converter deterioration. So the first thing I thought was, well, it's that O2 sensor. Um, so I got my code reader out, checked it. That O2 sensor is in fact reading, and it seems like it's reading right. So next thing I expected it to be is the cat itself. So I went ahead and ordered a direct fit cat for this. I will be putting it on before I sell it here, um, but um, it's on its way. That was another $200 to soak into this, but it's worth it to get it right. Um, it has to pass emissions and stuff, so uh, it has to have a good cat on it. So I went ahead and ordered one. So this is gonna be the end of this episode, guys. So I really hope you like this one. I spent a lot of time on this video, a lot. So I hope you guys really liked it. Um, but if you like this video, you ought to go check out some of my other videos. Like, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next episode of Unwrapped.